Hey everyone, in this quick AI animation related video, I wanted to share some new character consistency methods I stumbled across via a new GPT available on the new ChatGPT store. Here we go. First of all, we hop into ChatGPT and we can go to the new Explore GPTs tab and we can search for character. And you'll see there's one called Consistent Character GPT. You can then click to start designing your character and then go through answering the various questions. So we're going to have a male character. Please provide a name. We're going to call him Bob. It then asks for characteristics. 12 year old, white American, messy dark brown hair, yellow hooded top with black skull graphic, wearing skinny black jeans, oversized black frame glasses, blue eyes, oversized black converse trainers. It then prompts for a theme for the image and you can choose from photography, a Pixar animation, a 2D flat illustration or anime pastel. And I'm going to go for Pixar animation. It then asks what to vary in each image, and I'm going to go for expression, action, and time of day. Okay, and then we're going to give it our prompt for the first image. Happy, walking forward, daytime. And there we have our first image, and it's got the messy hair, Pixar style, oversized black frame glasses, the yellow hoodie with a black skull, those black skinny jeans, and the black converse. We can now prompt for our next image. Well, I'm putting sad, sitting at desk, facing camera, dusk. You can then keep answering questions and generate different consistent character images, rear views, side views, close ups, um, different environments to create the images you want to use in your work, potentially taking them into Photoshop. I really am very impressed by this consistent character GPT. It does what it says on the tin. It's actually consistently making very good characters. I'm not cherry picking the images I'm sharing here each time it's producing something aligned to our character. There are some small variations in the design of the skull on the jumper between shots. You could stop here and use these character images in your project, but I'm gonna go one step further and now use these images to kind of train up a prompt for Mid Journey to allow us to insert this character into some new Mid Journey V6 generations. Okay, I'm hopping over to Mid Journey and I'm gonna quickly show you how to use Prefer Option Set and then do a second one where we're gonna use those images to create a pre-trained prompt. So if you press forward slash and type P and choose prefer option set, and we can give it a name. So I'm gonna call this set to and press plus one more and choose value. You can then write a text prompt that you might use regularly in your normal mid journey generations. For example, cinematic, dynamic lighting, Boca dash dash AR 16.9 and press enter and that will create a new custom option called set to. You can then press forward slash choose imagine and write out a new text prompt. Man escaping from Alcatraz then type dash dash set to and press enter and it will replace that set to with our cinematic dynamic lighting Boca AR 16 by 9. I'm now going to do it again but this time making use of those character images. So in mid journey via the plus button I've selected the various images Choosing ones that I think give the most variation, ones with eyes closed, big steps, sulking with a hood up, side profile, and then various ones where we're seeing the hands as well. I'm just gonna press enter so they upload to Mid Journey. And then I'm also adding a cropped in image of that skull by itself, which I just quickly did in Photoshop, just to help give Mid Journey a bit of extra guidance for that graphic. I then press forward slash P, choose prefer option set, give our character a name. Let's call him Bob2 press plus one more, press value, and then drag down each of these images. As you drag them down, it will bring in the URL, press space after each one and drag in the next one. And then at the end, you can add a text prompt as well, which will be reused each time you use this pre-made prompt. I've added the text, 3D male Pixar character, dark brown messy hair, blue eyes, oversized black frame glasses, yellow hooded jumper with black cartoon skull graphic, black skinny jeans, black oversized Converse trainers, and then press enter. At this point, I was going to say it's time to go for a run, have a cup of tea, sit back and have a beer, as it can take quite a while to go through the process, but I did find that it actually just gets stuck on mid journey bot is thinking, but it turns out you can actually use the prompt relatively quickly. I'm not sure how long it takes, maybe less than 30 seconds. So you can press dismiss message and then write out your prompt, forward slash imagine, dash dash bob2 and then text to describe our scenes dancing with hand in the air and then dash dash set to which is the other shorthand prompt we created earlier on and press enter 
and it will write out the prompt with all of those image references, that text description, plus the shorthand, cinematic dynamic lighting, Bokka, AR 16x9. Okay, and there we have these images of our character. And admittedly, it's not anywhere near as consistent as the ones you were seeing in Dali 3 in the GPT, but it does show how you can potentially utilize those character images to direct your mid-journey output. Okay, and there we go. Hopefully this video looking at character consistency using these new GPTs on ChatGPT and looking at ways of being able to use those images within mid-journey has been useful and opened up some new possibilities for your projects. All right, so as always, please press like, subscribe, comment. I'm John Draper. Thanks very much. Cheers. <laughs>